Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ethos here today. I'm bringing you a new tutorial on the newest Valorant agent, Harbor. So I've spent a lot of time playing with this agent, just messing around with him and just seeing how he fits into the meta and with the competitive balance and everything. And I think that he's actually really, really strong. And I thought a lot about different plays they can make, different reactions you can make with his util. And I think there's a lot of different ways you can play with him. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's going on guys? Ethos here. Just wanted to say all these clips are taken from my stream. I stream every day at twitch.tv slash ethos. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and join my Discord server down below. Enjoy the video. Now, if you've come to learn about Harbor and how to play him and how to use him, well, look no further because this guy, a pro, <laughs> is going to teach you. All right, so let's go ahead and just lock right in here. So here we have Pearl and we have Harbor. Let the jokes unfold, but... You know, <laughs> go go kind of easy here. But uh, I just want to show you guys a little bit about his util first. And we're going to go into a little bit about what each of his abilities do. And then I'm going to talk about how you can use them and then how you should use them. Starting with his first ability, Cascade. You equip a wave of water fire to send the wave rolling forward and through walls. We used to stop the wave. Players hit are slowed. And it looks like this. Wave crashing. You stop it like that. Like that. Going through it. You get slowed. It's like that. Next, we have Cove. Equip a sphere of shielding water fire to throw. All fire to underhand throw. Upon impacting the ground, spawn a water shield that blocks bullets. Now, this is what it looks like here. It stays up for like 15 seconds or something. Unless someone breaks it. Like this. In which case, it disappears almost immediately. Now, we have High Tide, which is a signature ability. Equip a wall of water fire to send the water forward along the ground. Hold fire to guide the water in the direction of your crosshair. Passing through the world, spawning a wall along the water's path. Hold fire while bending to stop the water early. Players hit or slowed this goes pretty far if you look at the mini map it goes pretty Welcome far and you can control it and you can right click to just stop it right away running through it you do get slowed but not the same amount as you get slowed from your cascade ability finally we have the ult which is the reckoning here and basically the way it works is you spawn this here and every three seconds or so, uh, it'll pulse three times. A stun will spawn at an enemy's feet standing inside this area. And they'll have to move to get out of it. Otherwise, they're going to get stunned. Which makes it really annoying. And it works really well to displace enemies when retaking or taking a site. This ult is also seven charges. And it also moves very slowly. As you can see, it'll pulse three times. Uh, there's no enemy, so you can't see it. And it slowly moves forward. And I'll show you what it kind of looks like in the range as well. The wall also recharges every 40 seconds so it's nice because you can reuse it for a different site later in the round which is different from a viper wall or an astro wall and definitely better than a phoenix wall so starting off with the cascade ability it basically acts as a quick smoke to help you block off choke points or help you cross a lot of other agents like astro will pick up a smoke here for right example there. to cross or a jet smoke or something or you just want something smoked off for a little bit while you fight a lot of different ways you can use this you can shoot through all the walls except for the orb so there's a lot of different ways that you can use this to play around especially with a recon agent such as soba or fade for example here if you want to cross you can just block off like this while you cross like that and you can stop it whenever you want basically making it difficult you can also follow the wall up as well and just play behind it the orb is kind of used more like a normal smoke you can use it kind of the same way you would use a sage wall it does not block abilities but you can use it to block bullets and you can use it to just smoke off choke points if you have a lineup for like this for aggressive attack or something or you can just no throw it onto the bomb as well to plant or defuse the bomb it's like this and you just plant here or throw it here this makes it so that now you can actually plant in this god's right god plant spot without worrying about getting spammed and stuff or before you have to burn like a sage wall or something in a smoke with a viper smoke or an omen smoke or a brim smoke or an astro smoke that wouldn't really cut it because any good player would know how to just ping and spam you're probably dead trying to plant behind here i will say though that this that isn't the only use for it again you can still use it to smoke off different choke out. points like this that make it really annoying you can use it just like a normal generic smoke and it works well for those purposes as well if you have the lineups and also just to help basically stay alive as well now the wall here again you can curve and it's really easy to curve actually it's not at all like a phoenix wall you can actually see the cursor on the mini map so for example if i wanted a wall that would cut off right kind of like this i can i can do it pretty easily i just do like this and then i just curve it you just curve it along with the mini map and you can see that you can curve it 
pretty precisely and pretty easily as well. The ult here, again, is great for taking sights and retaking as well. So if you want to take a sight and basically just want to make your enemies have to move around, they can't sit in these positions anymore and just stand there. They have to move around. They have to respect the stun. They can sit in it, but they'll get stunned and they'll have to move around and basically reveal their location as well because the stun will spawn at their feet and you can see and hear the stun. So if they're in this location, if they're on site, you'll know that they're on site and you know where exactly where they are and they'll have to move and either be forced to take a fight or fall back. So in ways, it's kind of like a breach ult, but also gives you info. So if you know that you hit this ult like this, and you don't hear any stuns being going off, you know that the site's clear and you know that they're playing off a of site. So what does this all look like together used in unison? So for example, like a B long take where you have every single piece of util. You could wall like this to get up. You stop it whenever you want. You can wall like, now you can wall like this to cross. Basically just regular site smokes like this as well. Blocks off link, heaven, spawn, and a little bit of back elbow. Obviously you have to be aware of any of this. Right? You can also ult as well with that. So you'll know if they're playing on site. And then as that wall is up, I'll throw it back up again here. So while this wall is up, you can orb here, put that up, and plant the bomb. So that's a full side take using just Harbor's abilities. Obviously, comboing it with your teammate's util will always make it infinitely better. So that was just for a standard B take, for example. But you can also just use it normally just to like default. For example, just defaulting control. Again, you can just use this, get that space, right? And then cross here like that if you'd like. Also, if you just want to use it to just default map control, you can just turn like this, like for example, in mid, or you cross like this. Basically makes it so that the enemy team playing defense has to play forward right if they want to get info, if they want to know if you're here. Other than that, you can feel free to just fight these closed right spaces, there. clear this all out, and it's also denying info for the enemy team, making it that much more difficult for them to rotate or get an idea of where your team is trying to end. Since it does have a 40 second recharge, you can use that first wall to just try and get aggressive map control, and then use the second wall to actually take a site. So that's how I would like to use that wall to get maximum usage out of his utility in actually playing for parts of the map. You can do a lot of funky walls too as well Water like rising. stuff like this here for example just like if you just want to like a lurk wall or something something that you know enemies will have to pretty much respect right because if you have this wall up you know you can walk through right here and everyone playing right on site won't be able to know what's going on they have to fight forward they have to use utility and stuff like that will just really make the enemy team uncomfortable so make sure you're using that first wall and default some sort of control so you get that recharge started and so you can help your team basically get some map control and also deny map info for the enemy team now towards defense i really like to use his abilities more reactively on defense here um, again, since you have two charges of the wall, you can use one to help instantly try and counter whatever parts of the map that they're trying to take, or you can use it aggressively yourself to immediately try, try to take parts of the map yourself. For example, if you're on defense and you're starting towards A main, you immediately use this wall, Water cut rising. it off, and this will basically make it so that the enemy team will have to use utility or some sort of info utility to fight through and they'll have to be scared about you know what kind of there could be three people here for example pushing up here you can use a wall like that just immediately just on your own accord take your own initiative and take that or you can just play towards mid which is what i like to do a lot of time as harbor and let's say they're just going to a day you just immediately throw a wall across and just make things difficult for them to deal with and immediately it'll slow them down. Same thing that you just have a wall. Any point, just like how Asher will smoke A main or anything. Second to that, uh, there's any sort of A presence or you can smoke towards B as well. If you know they're, they're going towards B. Just like that. Again, if there's B main noise, right you just immediately throw this wall up. Your teammates already got pushed back. You throw this wall, slow them down a bit. They don't know what's happening behind the site and it's pretty good. How to use the cascade. I like to use the cascade as well on defense to just basically like give myself uh, an area to fight around here. Basically cutting the site in half, making it so that the enemy team can't fight for full site control and allows you to continue to stay on site. Comboed with this, I love to use the orb. On every site, you know, like a lot of times instead of smoking a choke point when they're trying to come out, just throwing a, a site smoke allows you to stay alive and allows your teammates to stay alive and just play around it for much longer. And it's really good to just stay alive. Even though Harbor doesn't have any strict delay utility, like a molly or a slow or anything like that, his wall does slow it doesn't really count but being able to throw an orb here and just and just stay alive in this right or even just throwing it there right the enemy team is going to be scared of this they're not going to know what to do around this right or you can throw the orb here for example if i break this throw the orb here like they won't know like what's going on behind you they won't know basically keeping the enemy team cl 
claustrophobic, making sure that they don't have a lot of space to play around, making it difficult for them to take side control, and just staying alive is enough to delay the enemy team's push. So just throw an orb on the ground and then just play in it. And also, another pro tip with Harbor is buy a shorty. Just buy a shorty. Because if you're going to be playing like this, have a shorty. They can't shoot you through it. They're going to have to run in. And if you have a shorty in it, it's a guaranteed kill. So make sure you're buying shorties as a Harbor, especially on defense side. It's really difficult to play against and it's, you really have to respect this orb. Different things you can do with the cascade on attack as well. For example, if you just want to, again, just isolate angles. You can just throw this wall here. Just cut that off like that and then you can feel free to just fight through this if they run through they're gonna get slowed and you have the advantage to fight them same thing towards art just throw a wall like this boom kind of block it off make it difficult for them you can use the cascade very quickly very easily just to just temporarily isolate angles isolate choke points and allow yourself to have a little bit more time to breathe with there's another peak as well that i like to do uh that i kind of i don't know i haven't really seen i mean i haven't even watched too much but i haven't really seen other people do as much but because i like to use this orb to delay and to stay alive here and if you want to fight forward you can use your wall comboed with the orb and just play around it like this and you can just keep walking back and forth especially if you know a fade eye is coming in soon or a sober door is coming in soon put the wall up you can peek through it like that and basically it makes it so difficult for the enemy team to try to fight you and they can't really watch you try to run out of the orb try to use that wall like that it's very it's very strong again for example like this you can do something like this and then just hold this side of the wall here and just play around it basically making it so that anyone standing over here can't really shoot you as you try to run through and anyone who's stuck towards here which i you know like to call danger uh you can solo that 1v1 fight i see this control agent a lot more fluid a lot more flexible than the other agents you're able to throw utility on yourself much more quickly things recharge and also like same way like you know how jets like to just throw smoke on themselves and just try to stay alive you can do the same thing as harbor throw smoke on yourself wait for utility to come in maybe a flash comes through you wait for a flash you sit in this smoke until your flash character comes over and say throw the flash the flash it's okay flashing the flash pops you swing out boom 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 or you could combo with the wall combo with wall boom 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 especially with the recon uh you wait for the recon to come through like this you put this orb up okay recon's coming in put the wall up have the wall come through the recon's coming out and you can spam through this entire wall obviously you can't spam through the orb so you can step out and spam everyone behind that wall it's very very strong so combo util like that with another initiator agent is very very strong again using this util the ult to retake as well is very good or just to take map control for example they took b site here and let's say they got the bomb down now you can just throw the ult like this throw the wall like that and then you can just go out you go out with your teammates the wall blocks off anyone who's not in the ult, so they can't really help. Anyone who's in the ult is going to be jumping around, moving around, and it's going to be free picks. Especially comboed with other util. You can do that. All this wall's up, throw the orb on the bomb, get the tap going off. Put a lot of pressure on the enemy team to have to use their solutions. Use their post pass solutions, their mollies, their nades, their recon darts. Use whatever they, they have to early on so you have more time on the bomb to play with. Also, what I want to say as well, along with every agent that's a support agent that's util heavy, you don't always have to use abilities. A lot of your utility is used to either stay alive or to support teammates globally or to retake in a, in a set exec so a lot of the time it's just better to have your gun out right there's not there's not a flash you can throw the the wall isn't really a great like slow or anything that will really like mess with people but you can use it to like bait take fights if you want but don't like just pull out like a ko flash or or a sova shock dart or whatever like you don't need to pull it out you just keep your gun out for most times the number one mistake that i assume i'm going to be seeing with this agent is people are going to have their utility out when they should have their gun out and they're going to be dying with their pants down you know so you got to make sure that you know when to have your gun out and know when to have your utility out there should be strict protocols in your head for example okay there's noise here right there. there's noise here i need to go help my teammates with my utility i'm not fighting anyone right now that's when you can play utility and help or they're pushing up b and i'm playing towards b okay i need to stall i need to try to stay alive Throw this orb up, and then you can play this, and then you just wait for utility. You just sit in here, sit, wait for your teammates to rotate. Okay, the flash is here, or the recon darts here. I'm ready to go. Put this up, come out, and then fight people. All right, you should know exactly in your head what situations you need your utility out, and know what situations you need to have your gun out. Okay, that's very, very important, and that's what's the difference between a great breach and a and a good breach, a great sova and a good sova. And that's always gonna be the difference maker is knowing when to have your gun out. Okay, I'm gonna also show you guys what the ult looks like as well here. If I do strafe, for example, here and do practice like that, and I hit the alt button. You see stun starts spawning at their feet it doesn't move with them so they can move out of it 
well, it's a pretty wide radius and it pulses three times before disappearing which basically will definitely displace enemies and will also tell you exactly where they are and you can hear the stun go off as well so you'll know if there's people on the site as well and basically it's a very annoying ult to deal with as a defense especially if flashes are coming through darts are coming through and you have multiple teammates swinging with you so this ult's actually very good i think it's very good it's not too overpowered but it can definitely make things very uncomfortable for the enemy team especially if you combo it correctly anyways guys that about does it for my harbor tutorial let me know what you guys think what do you guys think about the aging what do you guys think about the tutorial all right is the aging good do you guys think you'll play him are you guys a smoke man do you think it'll replace viper uh yada 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 let me know let me know your guys thoughts in the comments down below do you think he needs a nerf do you think he needs a buff do you think he's gonna be good do you think he's gonna be bad are you guys gonna play him are you guys not gonna play him are you guys gonna hate playing against him are you gonna get are you guys gonna love when he's in the game are you guys excited for what he's gonna do to the meta let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below and also if you guys enjoyed this type of tutorial video because i love doing these i think that they're so great and they're so informative and i love to just be able to help out the community again and uh yeah let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much my name is ethos and i will see you guys next time peace out it's a lonely party.